What's up guys? It's Tuesday. Hope you're having a great day. A um, couple days ago I wanted to share something with you. I pulled my phone out of my pocket and I had noticed this crack on it. I have no idea where it came from. It started over at the bottom and in the last day or so it's worked its way up, up my phone. But it's not the first time um, something like this has happened with one of my phones. And uh, so I thought I'd take you through a quick history of my LG phones. So the first phone I ever had was just a flip phone that I bought at Walmart when I was in university. It was like a, a pay-as-you-go phone. And I still have it somewhere in the house. Um, I can't find it right now, but I know it's kicking around somewhere. And then that's when I started to get into the, uh, the LG brand. Um, give me one second. So my second phone was LG. I don't know the, uh, the model number, but it uh, was Verizon. And I got it when I was living on the east coast of the states. I actually still remember walking into the Verizon store and picking this up for the first time. And it lasted me a number of years. Still works, never had any problems with it. Just got old before I, uh, before I replaced it. Then I moved to the LG BL40, also known as the LG Chocolate. Um, came out in around 2009. Had a 5 megapixel camera and a 4 inch touch screen. And about 1.1 gigabytes of storage in this. And uh, yeah, I must have had it around that time too, around 2009. Probably had it for a couple of years. Until, I'm not too sure if you can see. There was a uh, crack that uh, came across the screen and it was time to upgrade. And then I upgraded to the LG 2X, also known as the uh, LG Google phone. Uh, came out in 2011, had an eight megapixel camera, four inch screen, recorded in 1080p, dual core processor, eight gigabytes of storage in 512 megabytes of RAM. Um, this one lasted me quite a few years, and again, no problems with it. This is when I was really loving the LG brand. Uh, definitely fell in love with the LG brand through this phone. And then I upgraded it to the LG G3. Came out in 2014, had a 13 megapixel camera, 5.5 inch touch screen, 16 gigabytes of storage, and three gigabytes of RAM. And this one was definitely my favorite phone, slim, fast, served me for, uh, for a number of years until I got this crack on it. So what happened is I took my phone out of my pocket when I was walking outside and it fell from out of my hands and landed screen face into the pavement. And when I flipped it over, the entire screen was cracked. And being a touch screen, um, I wasn't able to use it. You weren't able to unlock the phone or open the phone or do anything. You couldn't answer calls. And I use my phone for work. And so I had to do something about it. I went to one of those cell repair places and they were gonna charge me $200 to uh, replace the screen, which I thought was ridiculous. So I went to uh, my phone carrier to see how much it would be to replace the entire phone. And it was the exact same price, $200. So I could pay $200 and replace the screen or pay $200 and get a secondary phone. The exact same phone, the LG G3. So I ended up getting a second um, LG G3. But within probably a week, two weeks, again, I didn't have a phone protector on my phone. I was in my garage this time. Again, taking out my phone to, to look at a text message fell from my hands. This time it landed on its side like that, kind of spun, landed. And when I looked, this is the same phone here and it cracked at the side, went all the way up. And as you see to this day, I can't, I can't unlock it. I can't do anything with it. And so, um, yeah, I was pretty pissed, pissed off. And so at that time I ended up going to the, uh, the cell repair place. So I went to the cell repair place, paid the $200, they fixed it, but it took like, I think about a day, a day and a half that I didn't have a phone at all. Um, and it was far away. And then I went back to the place, picked up my phone and it looked weird. Like the screen was on really tight 
and you know like when you press on like an LCD screen or something if you press hard or you press on like your TV around where you're, you're pressing it turns black and my phone like the screen was on, on I think too tight that it was causing like these weird colors on the screen and so again I'm pretty pissed off at the, the poor job they did but whatever like I need my phone I didn't have another two days to wait for them to do it again so I took it and they gave me a free phone case um, and so I left I had it in my pocket I was on my way home and by the time I got home I took it out of my pocket and the whole screen was messed again it was going all wonky because it hadn't, hadn't been done right um, I don't know what the place was called uh, if you're in Winnipeg I should let you know so you don't ever go there but it's like West Portage Portage Avenue um, never go there actually here I'll google it I'm looking online and actually I don't think it exists anymore um, I can't see it on Google Maps here I can't find it probably due to the fact that they did horrible jobs on uh, cell repairs um, anyway so I ended up taking it back and uh, they repaired it again it took about a day that I was without my phone again this time when I got it back it wasn't too tight but um, it was too loose and to this day this is the phone that they repaired um, I don't know if you can see there but there's actually light coming from the sides the screen is actually not on all the way and if I press down it does the, the wonky thing so I just used the, the free screen protector that they gave me and I've probably been using this for the last year like this and then of course again a couple days ago this mysterious crack shows up uh, so I don't know what I'm gonna do I don't know if you can see it it's just along there it's actually you not know, making the, the screen go wonky this time like I can actually still use the phone but I think it's time for a new phone I think I might upgrade to the LG G5 I've been uh, wanting to get into it when it came out it was fairly expensive so I've just been waiting for it to come down in price which it has and definitely a time now that I need to upgrade again so I think I might go to the LG G5 but I'll probably check out the mall and see what other phones are out at the moment um, but again that's why I love the LG product with all the uh, the LG's LG phones I've had over the past and uh, yeah they've served me well so I'm just off to pick up Floriella from work, um, just on her lunch here. We just got to run to the mall and grab a few things. We have a friend's wedding that's coming up on August 26th and uh, she's in the bridal party, or whatever you call it, like she's uh, a bridesmaid. Um, so we have to find her some, some shoes to match um, the dress that they all have to wear. And then after work, we have to go and get that dress altered. It's, uh, it's a bit long, she needs to get it a bit, uh, a bit shorter. And uh, that's probably gonna take a week to do so we got to get this done today because the wedding is in like 10 days uh, While we're at the mall I'll probably check out some of those phones too. check out the LG G5 and Then um, after that I have to run back to my office and get some work done Which ones these ones yeah, these are nice for the wedding all right, we got it in the first store. Got our shoes. <laughs> All right, just leaving the mall. It started suddenly raining, which I thought was weird because it was clear earlier, wasn't it? Like yeah. 10 seconds ago? Yeah. Anyway, we picked up the new shoes. And what else did we get? Got a Starbucks. An ice cream macchiato. And then you got a pair of pants from American Eagle. Thought I'd drop her back at work here. And then I got to run off to work as well. Spent the rest of the afternoon just doing work in the office. Floriel went and got her dress altered after work. Um, so we got everything done we needed to get done. I did see the LG G5 in the mall and I checked it out for a bit. Looks like a great phone and I think it'll be my next one when I do purchase one. Um, thanks for all your guys' feedback, your comments. Uh, really appreciate it. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys tomorrow.